In this video, we're going to look at how to create an index of economic activity using a real wage index as our example. So to create a real wage index, we need to, one, get nominal wage data and consumer price index. So here we have nominal wage data. This is median weekly earnings for full-time registered nurses in the United States. And here's a consumer price index where the base year 82 through 84. Uh, the methods shown in this video can be used to construct an output index of economic activity, a real GDP index, manufacturing output index, uh, an index of bushels of wheat being harvested. So this has more than one application to just wage data. All right, step two is we're going to calculate the real wage, and we're going to just take the nominal wage and divide it by the consumer price index for that year, and then multiply it by 100. So 781 divided by 172.2 multiplied by 100. That puts this nominal wage into real wages, and it's 453.54. So again, the real wage is expressed in the base year prices. So again, our base year is 82 through 84. And so I do that for each, each entry here, for each year. So in our final step, we're going to calculate the real wage index. We need to specify a base year, and I'm going to specify 2000. I could have picked another year, but I like to pick the first year of our data. So in this case, year 2000. And to create the real wage index, which is in this last column here, I'm going to take the real wage in that year, and we're going to divide it by the real wage in the base year. So this 100 is just simply taking 453.54 and dividing it by the base year real wage of 453.54, and then multiplying it by 100. So when we create this index here, our base year will be normalized to 100. Uh, same thing here for 2001. What did I do? I took this 451.72 and I divided it by 453.54. You can see what I did for 2012 and so on. So that's how you create this wage index. All right, so what I want to do here is just show you the percentage change in real wage uh, from various years. So from 2011 to 2012, one way we could calculate the percentage change in the real wage is just use the percentage change formula between those two years, so 477.8 minus 461.9, all divided by this 461.9 times 100, we get a real wage increase of 3.44%. Or if we could simply look at the index numbers uh, between those two years, the 105.348 and the 101.843, the percentage change there is the 3.44%. And one nice thing about a real wage index or just index numbers in general, it is easy to calculate the percentage change from the base year with index numbers because the base year is 100. So for example, from 2000 to 2019, this is a 5.475% increase in real wages. So that's pretty easy to calculate in your head. If you tried to do that just by looking at this real wage column here, you would have to calculate the percentage change between 453.54 and 478.38, which is a little bit more difficult. All right, I will stop here. I hope you found this video helpful.